G'day everyone. A quick little thing on pH. Now, I made pickled grapes the other day and put that video up, which I'll link to, but unfortunately, my pH meter didn't arrive in time. But it's here now. This is the one I got. It was about $25 from AliExpress. Um, my friends at Timber didn't have a decent one, so I bought the AliExpress one, which strangely arrived in a minimal amount of time. So here he is here. A couple of little points with it. First one is, it doesn't come with batteries. So then I had to order some batteries, which had another $10 to it. I do that was for 20 batteries, so. Now, it takes three little button battery things. I'm not sure I'd recommend buying this if you've got kitties in the house, because it doesn't comply with Australian safety standards. See, you can get straight to the batteries. No screw, no lock, nothing. Not good, but we'll keep it safe and away from any prying pinkies. So we're going to check our grapes, pickled grapes. You don't have to break the seal on it, but that's okay. Now they're smelling. Oh, geez, smelling really good. Now I've calibrated it. It did come with a calibration powder, so that's good. It's not that accurate. It's about 0 0.1, 0 0.2 pH -y things out. <clears throat> but here we go. Let's drop it in. I'll have a look. Sitting about one point. Eight, and this is one something I found with it. it just keeps going up. We want something below four and a half. And it seems to have settled at two point. Hasn't settled. It's going to leave it sitting in there and have a look at our instructions. All right. So how's it settled down now? Okay, it has settled to three point seven five, three point eight, three point seven nine, three point one. Okay, let's say it's about three point eight. That's well below the four point five that we need to be which is good. These have only been settling for a couple of days. They're so nowhere near ready yet, but let's just see what they're going like. Perfect, really good. They well, are gonna be nice, but I'm gonna to have to put those ones in the fridge now, which I shall do. And there we go, one pH meter. I'm happy with it. Don't think it's that accurate, but accurate enough. It'll allow me to do other things, particularly my cheeses, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon if you want to find out about other pH measurements we do, and also our recipes. Enjoy life, I'll catch you in the garden.